Welcome to Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey, where today we're doing a video walkthrough demonstration of some of the major systems and operations of a 2020 Jayco J flight. This is an SLX model. Okay. We're gonna start coming down the side of the camper. This is access to your outside storage. There's also a handle here to raise and lower your stabilizer jacks. We'll show you that on the outside. There is a clip on the side of the baggage door here, which you just release, and then you can lower that and lock that door. Likewise, raise it and open it and clip that in the upright position. Coming down the side of the camper, we have a power awning, which will show you operation from the inside, as well as your LED light strip up under the awning. You do have outside electrical on the door side here. So if you wanna plug in anything, you got it right there. T-handle for your door. So if you wanna lock the door open along the sidewall, you're gonna snap that into this holder here and push it up and detach it to close the door. Step is a self-storing step, which means you're gonna lift it up and push it back to recess under the trailer, and then just pull it forward and drop it into position. Some of this is a little hard to show one-handed, so bear with me. Up underneath here, you do have your stabilizer jack. So your jack handle came out of the front compartment. This is gonna match up to here, and you can raise and lower the jack for stability. Just gonna put this inside the entry door here. Coming around the back side of this 195 RB. Again, this is a walkthrough demonstration of a 2020 Jayco J Flight SLX. This is a 195 RB model. And we're gonna show you some of the major systems and operations of this camper. So this is a contactless walkthrough. So on the back, you do have bumper caps that pull out. This is a great place, as you can see, we store your new sewer hose in there. So that's gonna push into it and just make sure when you pop these caps on, they are fully secure so they don't come off for travel. Along the off door side here at the back, you do have your dump valves. So your dump valves are clearly labeled. You'll see there is a gray water holding tank valve, which also has a gray valve and a black holding tank, which is just toilet waste. And that is at the back there. So black tank, just toilet. Gray is soapy water, which drains down your sink and your shower. You would attach the sewer hose you saw in the back bumper here, twist right on. A good tip is to empty the black tank valve, let that toilet waste come out. And once that's empty, pull the gray valve to let soapy water come through and wash your line. Then that line works like a slinky, can fold and store back into your bumper cap here. This is also connection for your city water. So you could connect a drinking water safe hose here and go right from water at your campground low point drain that is a gravity drain that will drip as you're moving down the road uh, if the tank is slashing around the water that gives it a low point gravity drain back of your water heater this is easy access with a toggle switch here one thing of note make sure this area is kept clean and free of leaves debris and spider webs because they can wreak havoc with your system to access the panel here there is a little, a little window that you can see the pilot light use the toggle switch drop this panel down. You're going to see the controls here. So this gives you temperature control between hot and warm. If this is facing you in the off position, the water heater is in the off position. You want to turn it to pilot. So spin it once toward you. You're going to press this red button and you're going to use an aim of flame or match to light the pilot light there. So let me show you this operation. I'm going to press the red button. Again, I'm gonna to try to show you this. It's a little difficult one-handed, so bear with me. Press the red button, and then use your aim of flame or a match to go ahead and light that pilot. Once that kicks on for heat, for heating up that hot water, you can turn it to the on position, and that will run. When you're done with your hot water, you're gonna come here and turn it all the way to the off position. Again, this area is gonna be hot, so be careful and make sure it's kept free of spider webs and debris. There are instructions on the inside of this water heater door, as well as in the owner's manuals. So for more specific details and information, please do visit those owner's manuals as they'll go over everything on this camper. Back of your furnace, which is a vent here. This is gonna also vent warm air, so make sure this is kept free of any lines, debris, power cords, etc. When you're using your furnace, that's where you're gonna get that warm air. This is self-storing power cord. This is gonna go recess back in here and this will flip down on top of it. Cable and satellite input. 
So satellite would be aftermarket if you're using some kind of tabletop system that you purchase. Cable TV would be available if you are at a campground that provides cable. That's where you would run the cord there. Access to back of your refrigerator panels. To open these panels, you're gonna spin these little levers here using a key or a coin can help. You wanna put them in the upright position and then this panel can lift and drop down. So again, you just wanna make sure that area is kept free and clear of any debris, cobwebs, etc., because your fridge does work off of propane. This is a drain hose for that fridge, so if you do see that dripping condensation out the back, that's correct. Continuing here, we have another low point drain. And then this is your fresh water tank fill. So we saw at the back of the coach, the city water hookup. If you're using a hose at your home or at a campground, this is where you would take the cap off, use your water safe drinking hose and actually fill your onboard fresh water tank. So this is for drinking water only. Weight sticker on the camper with VIN number information is here. Again, this is a 2020 Jayco J Flight SLX 195RB. At the front of the camper, you have the power tongue jack which raises and lowers by cranking the handle, as well as the coupler pin, which will lock with engaging it flat. And we recommend a pin through that if you're towing. Propane tank, you have open and closed. Make sure to access the propane system. This is spun to the open position. You also have a battery in box there, which will allow for 12 volt lighting and also your trailer brakes on the road. Coming up inside this camper, we'll show you some of the features. So entering this camper, we have furnace wall thermostat. This is right at the entry door. When you enter to your left, hit the button to the on position and select your temperature control down low here. This is just for furnace heat. This is propane powered and the blower for your fan will run off of electric. So either your battery or plugged into shore power. Really nice closet at the back here. Nice deep access closet. Bathroom at the back, we have a foot pedal toilet. Show you that operation. You're just gonna push down on the foot pedal. It's gonna rinse and clean that bowl out. Again, that's going into a black tank and you saw that dump valve on the outside. Tub, skylight for great headroom and natural light. You do have pop lights, so for these lights, push the button in the middle, it's gonna come on, push it back off, and also attic vent here, which you can raise and lower by turning the knob. Make sure for travel, these are closed tight because they can flap in the wind. We have the air conditioner working, it feels great in here. So your air controls are right on the unit itself. You can close or open this for more or less flow. And then right here, you can control what's called the chill grill. So you can see if you want an air dump to have a lot cooler air come in here faster on a hot day, you can use this little switch here. You can also control your temperature settings and whether it's on or off here. So we'll go ahead and turn that. That's high. We're gonna back it down to medium, low, and then in the off position. Okay, stereo system right here above the back of the dinette. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down so you can hear a little bit better. Again, by the front entry door, you have a couple of switches. So this is your power awning switch for operating in or out and also your light switches. Keep in mind, these switches only operate if the pop button on the light is in the on position. So you wanna tie those together. This is for your outside light and then we'll show you operation for the awning. So we're gonna hit the button to out. You can hear the awning start to move. We'll show you that. Camper just had a bath, so you might see a little bit of water dripping down. In very windy or raining conditions, do make sure you keep this awning in. You don't wanna risk wind getting up under there or rain bending that tube. It's a one piece part. So if you're concerned that weather might be kicking up, you're gonna be away from the camper, I'd recommend you bring that awning in. Also seals and gaskets are general maintenance. You wanna check those once a season and you'll find that information in your owner's manuals. Pleated shades are right behind the valances themselves. They raise and lower for privacy. Up into the bedroom, you have nightstands, shirt wardrobes, Nice reading lights. Again, those are pop buttons right on the lights themselves. And on the off door side, you have your emergency exit window. So to operate this emergency exit window, you would take the red handle, push it in 
wiggle it out and then this can pop open. If you'd like to leave it open for airflow, you can do that. If you need to use it as an emergency exit window, you're going to actually push the window all the way out and the screen as well. To close it, pull the lever back towards you, spin it to the side and fit it right down into that latch and that's locked. In your kitchen area, you have your main GFI for the entire camper. So if you had any electrical issues, you'd wanna come here and press the tester reset button. Hook up here if you wanna hook up a 12 volt television, there is cable input here. This is a signal booster. If you were using just TV antenna not hooked into cable, press the screen button here and it can clean up your signal a little bit. If you're plugged into cable, there's no reason to use the signal booster button. You also have your system's monitor panel right here behind the sink. So here's your water pump switch. If you are pulling water from your fresh water tank, you'll hear that pump run. It's pressurizing the water from that tank and allowing you to pull it through to use it at the sink or the shower. So that's a really easy, good location for the water pump switch. Again, you'll hear that pump, that's normal operation. If you're hooked up to city water at a campground, you do not use the water pump switch because it's already pressurized coming into the camper. This also shows you level of your battery. So press the button, fully charged battery. Fresh water tank, empty currently. Black tank, toilet tank, empty currently. And gray tank, soapy water, empty currently. So this is a great spot and very easy to check your systems and monitors. For your oven and stove here, this is a propane powered stove. Again, make sure the valve on the outside of the camper at the propane tank is in the open position. So you're gonna turn these Turn this to light, use an AMA flame or a match, and you can light your, light your thing here. And then you turn this to the off position. Same thing with the back, you're gonna light those there. And I think my AMA flame might be locked. There we go, let's try that again so I can show you. Locked it once we were outside. Okay, so there's your flame, and you can control the setting here or higher or lower. Okay, turn it all the way to the off position. Overhead, you have a light and also a fan. So that's nice for exhausting to the outside. And of course, microwave works like your microwave at home. Microwave and air conditioning are strictly plugged into electric. They will not work off of propane or battery power. Underneath your range, you have the intake for your furnace. This is if you're using that wall thermostat we saw earlier to use your heater. This is where it's gonna have the intake, and you saw the silver vent on the outside of the camper. Underneath is your converter. So this is your main fuse panel and breaker box. This will also vent to normal operation, so that may come on or off to cycle. Here's your breakers and also your fuse panel. Everything's clearly labeled. If you had any electrical issue, check your main GFI again up at the kitchen counter, and you could also check down in your converter breaker box. For more specific details and information, this is included in your Jayco owner's manuals, so please feel free to check that. At the base of the booth dinette is your propane leak detector. This is also a carbon monoxide detector. So if there were propane or carbon monoxide, this is gonna have a loud, shrilling, piercing sound. Your test reset button is here. You would wanna open the windows, clear the air, and check that your propane valve is in the closed position outside the camper. To convert this to a sleeping area, you're gonna lift the table up. It is hinged on the back wall. Push this in to kick the leg back, and this table will actually be supported on both sides underneath here and here to convert it into a sleeping area and your cushions go across on top of the table to do so. If you have any questions on the operations of this camper, please feel free to give a call. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. Your owner's manuals are also a great resource. We thank you for watching and we wish you lots of wonderful camping ahead. Have a great day.